extended version of Wan Bissaka, apparently, Matt Upson. Wan Bissaka, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, apparently the, that, so. that's, that's the likeness, is it? Yeah, th- uh, they want 25 million for him. Yeah. Um, Arsenal, well, unsurprisingly, haven't met their asking price yet. I think they're saying they don't want to spend more than 40 million throughout the whole window. Do you think he's worth that much? I, th- I think what's interesting is, is that, you know, he's played over 100 appearances for, for Celtic. He's 22. So you'd have to say that that's, that's a fair few matches. And it's taken, you know, I've, I've admired him for quite a while. When he first burst onto the scene, I remember watching Celtic in Champions League games of playing against teams like Barcelona and him really looking like an exciting young left back. And I thought to myself, this lad's not going to stay at Celtic too long. Somebody's going to come and take him. And it's taken a little bit longer than what, what I actually expected when I first saw him. Um, I don't know if anyone else has got any other ideas why for. Maybe yeah. it's defensively a question mark no, on him, I, I think the, initially, Matt, when he came in, because people are talking about, obviously, again, uh, about the new Andy Robertson. Kieran Tierney was way ahead of Andy Robertson oh. in terms of uh, being known and what yeah. have you. Uh, and he has played, he said, you know, Celtic have been inundated with clubs over the years because he's a Celtic lad and, and, and that's his team. Then he'd no desire really to, to be moving away. Uh, he picked up the injury last year, which it was troubling because obviously he's not back fit yet. But I've got to say, if Arsenal get him for 25 million, it's an absolute steal. He's great going forward. He has improved defensively. And the other great thing is he's got pedigree because he's played Champions League games, you know, on many, many occasions. And he stood toe to toe with some fantastic players and not been out of place. So you know, I think Scotland actually, they're. they're, they're two best players are the two left back the two left backs Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney and I've got no doubt if Arsenal were to to achieve that I think the Celtic fans would be really upset to lose a player of that quality but if they were to get him for 25 million I think it's an absolute steal he's going to get better he's athletic he's tall he's played at left centre back as well because he's decent in the air he's a great he's going to score a goal get delivery of a, of a ball from the wide areas and you know he'd be a fantastic player for Arsenal no doubt I mean, what did you make of though, those comments from the 11 there? Did it sound to you as if he's preparing the groundwork to sell Tierney? Yeah, I, th- I think that's a great point. I think that's how it sounded to me, that if the right offer comes in, they've kind of came. They've probably sat down with Kieran and, you know, uh, I don't know if he's intimated that maybe now's the time for that challenge because he's a Celtic boy through and through. He loves the club, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Uh, but I think maybe they've all sat down and thought, you know, if the right offer comes in, it's probably the right time for, for you to go. I think the fans will be disappointed if that happens because he's such a, a huge part of what has been a, an incredible team in the last few years at Glasgow Celtic. But as we all know, money talks and if the right offer comes in, then I think there's a deal to be done. We are talking um, about where the Arsenal back line could be strengthened, but I think a lot of Arsenal fans might argue actually the back line just need more support from the likes of the players in the midfield, perhaps the wide players. Uh, and on that note, it is reported that Real Madrid midfielder Danny Sebios is in London for a medical to join Arsenal on loan to fill the gap left by Aaron Ramsey. Um, how much do you think they need to get that one over the line? How key could he be in the Arsenal team next season? Well, he's been admired, as you know, for many years when Real Madrid signed him from, from Betis. I think it was something like 18 million as a young player from the under-21s. He shone in the tournament again in the summer. So there's no doubt this is a very talented player. Uh, Ramsey's obviously left, so again, there's a void when, you know, uh, the impact that he had at Arsenal as well. So I think, you know, you can never have enough good players at your football club. And if he certainly comes in, he's probably been frustrated because I think he had a fallout with Zidane as well. And now Zidane's come back in. That's obviously why he's available, I would suggest, to, to go and loan. Uh, but there's no doubt he's a wonderfully talented player I mean, he needs to play week in week out he was starved of opportunities if truth be told at Real Madrid and he probably sees if it's Arsenal an opportunity to go and show everybody what a wonderful player he is and uh, and I think just as I said before the more quality players you get at the football club the better chance you've got of winning games Matt do you think this is the bit of business that they should be prioritising at Arsenal? I mean, you, you, you say prioritising. I think if you look at Arsenal you have to say that they have bigger priorities but like what Owen just said if a player like that becomes available and you think we can actually sign this within our budget, we're, we're, we have the ability to get him, you have to go and do it because I think he's such an exciting talent and to, to bring that to Arsenal at the moment, you know, at that kind of money and he's available is a must do, I think. I think it's, it's really good business. But to answer your question, there are bigger priorities at Arsenal for sure and we've, we've just touched on them earlier. The, the, the back four is a huge priority and you just feel that if that doesn't get sorted in any way, shape or form, you know, the, the, their chances of challenging in that top four position and, and in and around that is going to be really difficult. One player I really want to see at Arsenal this year is Reese Nelson. Mm. Obviously did pretty well 
in Germany on loan last year. Incredibly talented young player. Like, you know, growing up as a teenager, people said he was just as good as Jaden Sancho. I think given all the issues there are at Arsenal at the moment with the ownership and the fans and the lack of spending, I, I think a, a, a trusting a young, talented English player like Nelson could be the best thing that Arsenal could do in terms of trying to get the fans excited again. That's actually a great point. I think the challenge always with the elite clubs is when you have these special young talents, because you already have your bona fide top internationals, there's always a kind of reluctance to play them. But you'll actually never know how good they are until yeah. you play them. And I go back to the time I was very fortunate to be able to get to get Jack Wiltshire and Lowe, and only because at the time Arsenal had the Nielsen and Fabregas and these top players. And there was actually a chance I thought I was getting them back the following season. But Jack went and played in their pre season tournament. They always had the Emirates and he was a bit he was the best player in the tournament. And I remember Arsen ringing me and saying, Listen Owen, I know we had an agreement but Jack's been outstanding. I'm now going to play him all the time and, and so you don't know how good they are until you play them and that's why the, the point with Reese Nelson I'd love to see those kids getting a run you know similar to what's going to happen at Chelsea with some young players going to get a run now to see how good they are and you never know and Matt will tell you because he's worked with endless young players that have come through you'd have looked them in training and all of a sudden you see them in the games and they think yeah they're really able to stand and, and deal with the, the, the level they're at <laughs>